Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. My name's Madison. Today I have cilantro and I actually left it in the wrapper for a second because it's so cute how they wrote my name on here. Um, and I got a strawberry lemonade with it. I'm really excited. Um, I got kimchi fries. If you've never heard of cilantro, it's a very, very cool business and you should definitely look it up. He was actually on Shark Tank um, after he started everything. And his business model is really awesome. And he's kind of set the stage for a lot of the, uh, a lot of businesses. So he's very cool. Definitely look him up, watch his episode. Uh, look at their website, it's really awesome. Um, that's cool, they added a fresh nap. I think it was like in the last video that I made or the one right before that, that I was talking about fresh naps. So I love that. So, you guys are gonna die when you see this. So I'm just so excited, so hungry brain all over the place like always um please let me know how you guys are doing down below i'm trying a different way of filming i have it kind of zoomed out a little bit their strawberry lemonade is freaking good i had it one time because it tastes so good like actually tastes like strawberry i had it one time because um i was door dashing and i was waiting a while and she just offered it to me um and yeah, so, oh my God, yes, these look beautiful. These look beautiful. I mean, they always look beautiful, but I mean, I've never gotten it like to go before, so. Eh, eh. Okay, I'm gonna try to get a thumbnail. It's really hard to get a thumbnail now that I'm not like face to face. I'll do the drink even though it doesn't have anything. Okay, here's a close up. So, kimchi fries. Um, it's gonna be a, fr a fried french fry with um, cilantro, cheese, there's Monterey Jack cheese on here, um, onions, sriracha, magic sauce, which is kind of like a spicy mayo. And then there's also the really awesome component here, which is the grilled kimchi. It's so yummy. I've made these fries before uh, at home, but I also got mine with spicy pork, which is one of the meat options. Mm. And then I just got extra magic sauce on the side because um, sometimes you just need some extra, so. But yeah, so this is why I always make kimchi fries at home um, because this was $16. I just didn't want to make it at home today and I wanted to show you guys. It's a really great company. So if you ever have the chance to eat some food from here, definitely do it. What I like about getting it to go is that the fries are still crispy. However, they're a little bit softer so it's easier for my um, teeth to chew like since I have braces. But if you get their, if you get these kimchi fries in there, they're actually a bit more crispy. So if you like that, um, then, you know, it kind of works for you. Hope this angle is working for you. If you haven't already, please like the video. Subscribe too. Why not? Mmm. The taste is almost indescribable because there's just so many flavors. Here's the magic sauce. It's spicy, it's sweet, salty, like there's that umami because of the kimchi and the, um, you know, whatever they make the pork with. Look at that. Since I have it zoomed out, I don't know exactly where the camera is. Mm, you have the kimchi on this bite. Yay. I just got my braces tightened 
yesterday. So, ouch. <sighs> Mm. Strawberry lemonade kind of sounded weird to me, like with this, but I knew that I already liked it and it sounded nice. I don't get beverages very often, as you guys know, and it goes really well together, actually. And, you know, I make this at home all the time, but having the real deal, somebody else making it. Mm. They also do this with, um, I think they call it a Psalm. It's a burrito with all of this in it. I got to try that. You know what? I think I haven't gotten one myself, but I believe Brandon got it one time and I think I tried it from his. I think I blocked it out of my mind because it was too good. The spicy pork on here is just incredible. There's two doves on a fence over here. They look so cute. Oh. Birds are awesome. A lot of people find birds creepy. If that's you, let me know. But they're so interesting. And like they can fly and they don't even know how cool that is. Oh, there's a really big piece of pork here. And I actually ordered this on their app. Woo. Holy shit. Temperature wise, hot. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Ah! I'm gonna drop the lid. Anyway, <laughs> as I was trying to freaking say, um, I ordered this on their app, which I didn't know they had. And it made it a lot easier to like order everything. I really, really liked it, but it's really easy to order inside as well. Cause this is just called the original kimchi fry. You guys must be by Good Luck Charm for wagons because the Mercedes wagon just went by. Mmm. Speaking of nice cars, a freaking gt3 drove by me earlier so i will be inserting a photo of that right now we get to see like such cool cars i just saw a freaking 720s yesterday when i was coming out of my um orthodontic appointment if you don't know what a 720s is please look up the cost you can put 720s into the search engine and it'll let you know it knows what it is I don't love when they have the meat this large um, because it's like I want to make sure that I have enough bites but 
Um, look at it. I mean, I'm trying to like cut it with this fork with one hand. I'm just gonna give some praise to the meat really quick. Like it's so tender, it's crazy. I still think it's really weird that I made that video one time about kimchi fries and like the next day the link was broken for the website so I don't know if she saw my video or what But the website never worked for me ever again. They put a great amount of sauce in here. Um, but yeah, so if you ever want to make this, I have a recipe for it that I followed from the lady that doesn't have the website up anymore. But she does have a video on it. On YouTube. And I link to it in the description of that video. I think it's like... Dandy's Kitchen or something. Look at this large fry. Um, I think that's what it's called. It's like Dandy's. But yeah, so I don't know if she took that down or not. If she did, I'm not sure why. Chick-fil-A napkin. And as for a little braces update. He was supposed to take this bottom tooth and bring it forward. And he was going to shave the other teeth. But it's like there's just so much crowding. And it's causing me so much pain. I'm just going to get that one taken out. Excuse me. I have like little trust in this dude, which like sucks. But I'm just hoping that everything turns out good. Like all I want is straight teeth and to be able to eat. I don't think that's that hard. Could be wrong. Mmm. It's crazy how good the kimchi is in here. I haven't actually been here in a really long time. There's so much wildlife over here. There's these like cute little squirrels that keep running around. Also, if you've made it this far, that means that you possibly care about what I have to say. Um, I am thinking about going on this financial channel 
uh, by this dude named Caleb Hammer. He kind of goes hard in these people's financial, but I emailed him. He emailed me back and, you know, told me to explain my situation. And like, I, you know, I initiated it. Kind of nervous though. It's like, like he really goes ham. Like definitely look him up. But I want the advice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like seeing different people's opinions like on different stuff. So I think it would be valuable. But since he does go so hard, that brings a certain type of viewer to his channel. A lot of the people that comment are respectful. But I just don't want people to like, you know, make fun of me. Oh, I accidentally dropped it on me. It's me not making fun of me. I really didn't notice, my bad. I hate dropping food on me. I feel like it makes me look so freaking messy. Like I truly hate it. Anyways, but it's just something I'm thinking about. So if I do that, I will definitely let you guys know. I mean, he might not even say yes to me. You know, I'm not like assuming that he's going to say yes. I'm just like kind of talking it out a little bit. Um, this is my last bite. <laughs> Look how good it looks. I forgot they gave me napkins, whoops. Well, one napkin. Let's save that wet nap for when I actually need it. This stuff is delicious. So I just wanted to get my teeth like as good as I could for the outro, just so that you guys aren't looking at like a whole bunch of stuff in my teeth. Like I said, I don't really like to appear messy like to other people. I, it just makes me like uncomfortable. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. And it's not necessarily because I'm uncomfortable being messy. It's, uh, well, sometimes I am, but with food, not always. Um, but it's more so because people are, like, really weird about, like, what they see versus, like, what they don't see. Because this is only, like, you know, 20, 30-minute clip of me. Like, you don't really know everything that I am. Any freaking way. So, yeah. So, I'm definitely thinking about going on his channel um, what sparked my interest is that obviously I have financial stuff going on always. Um, and like I do what I can a lot and then sometimes my brain is like, fuck it all. And then I just like do stupid shit. Um, so yeah, so part of it is that he's in Austin, so it would make it super easy. His channel is like pretty brand new. He just passed a hundred thousand subscribers um i believe two weeks ago three weeks ago i'm pretty sure um and it's just continuing to climb so honestly i just want to talk to him about that as well like i really just want to have like a genuine conversation with this dude um and just get some insight from him because you know he might not be completely correct about every single thing that comes out of his mouth but the thing about it is that you know you can always pick and choose like when you talk to people you can just kind of get um like different stuff from them. I know that I'm like explaining that kind of weird, but it's nice to hear people's opinions and just be able to really talk about stuff and not 
completely write someone off or completely just be like, yeah, whatever about any conversations with people. Um, so yeah, and you know, I would not usually speak with someone like him. I don't really have access to that. Um, you never know like who you're talking to at work and stuff, you know, until you do. <laughs> anyway, my brain is all over the place right now. Um, but less all over the place because I'm not a hungry lady. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to stop freaking rambling now. Um, I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will absolutely see you in the next video. Please like the video and subscribe if you have not. Bye.